Hi, I'm Jim Burke of the Power Racing Series, and we brought to us our, one of our first autonomous power wheels right below us. Our goal is to develop a high school racing series around autonomous power racing, which is small, electric, under $500 go-karts. For autonomous power racing, we're going to aim for 10 miles an hour and $1,000 carts, so we can make this technology more accessible to people who will later become developers in it. Uh, the goal of this vehicle specifically was a proof of concept, so our pricing and budget's a little bit higher than our $1,000 goal, but as LiDAR technology becomes ever increasingly cheaper, and the processing power for that becomes cheaper as well, we will be able to develop ever increasingly more affordable carts so that high school school teams can actually go out there and develop them for ever lower and lower cost per cart. And our goal is to be able to hit that $1,000 mark so we can reach more schools. It's a custom designed, custom built aluminum chassis. Uh, our motor is scrapped from an electric wheelchair. Our tachometer sensor, which keeps track of how far we've moved, has several 3D printed components in it. Some of our safety features, because we are running this in a, a crowd of spectators, we have a couple different ways to stop the car. We have our big red button here, which just cuts all power to the car, brings it to a stop. Uh, the car is intentionally designed so it can't go faster than a running pace. So you can always catch up it, to it, you can always stop it if you need to. We also have here on the remote, we have a switch that can remote kill the motor. It just disconnects it through a relay, makes it so it can't do anything, and it'll just stop on the track. Uh, we're using a, an Arduino to do a lot of our lower level processing that processes our tachometer. It sends that to the laptop over here, which is taking data from the Arduino and also a LiDAR, which is under the little cap here. It sends the data in from the LiDAR to the computer, puts all of that together, figure out where it is on the track. Using that data, it can navigate its way around. 